But... Actually, I, I watched this Lucario once. Uh, it was kind of like over her shoulder one time at a Xanadu a little while back, and I gotta say, I was impressed. But... Let's see how it do against Lost in Time, man. He's on fire today. Diddy Lucario definitely a... Uh, what, what I feel to be a pretty good matchup for Lucario, which is kind of weird to say. Uh, I feel like a lot of people will say that Diddy Kong struggles... Or, I'm sorry, makes many other characters struggle, but... I think Lucario does pretty good here. Uh, I don't think that his kit, even without Aura, really struggles to combat with Diddy Kongs. And I tell you what, when he does have Aura, after Diddy Kong struggles to kill him, when Lucario's at that 120%, it gets really stressful for uh, the Diddy Kong player. Even right now at 30%, though, it's it's not going to be too hard for Lucario to get a kill, especially if she's landing all these aerials up air and back air. I mean, I'll tell you what, she's definitely... F all right, one thing I, I will mention on uh, with her movement specifically is I feel like she's following Lost in Time's movement as he's doing it. So she's not even, like, reacting to the way that he's moving, right? She's specifically uh, reading where he's going to be, and that's how she was landing stuff like that back air before. 73% too, and we're not far from uh, Lucario being able to get an up throw, up air conversion. It might even kill now. Uh, it's always kind of hard to get your kill confirms with Lucario, but amazing catch on that banana. Not able to do anything with it, though. Lost in time, though. Keep getting these grabs and putting uh, putting loot off stage. Ooh! R Sphere on the monkey flip. Uh, not quite enough to kill, though, but very close. Shooting these little probe shots. I think that's definitely smart. Yeah, okay. Lost in time looking for a shield drop there after the banana toss, but uh, loot was not giving it to him, as she shouldn't. Gonna get that stock with that Force Palm, and now we have 120% on Lucario. I mean, gosh, I, I think one throw combo might do like 40%. Let's find out. Up air, up air, 36% and counting. Are we gonna go with the back air? No, we're gonna miss. All right, Lost in Time's getting this grab. I, I, I will say one key part of this matchup uh, for the Diddy player is how well can the Diddy edge guard the Lucario. But hey, who needs edge guarding when you get the full stage control with that banana? Get the up smash. And more importantly, get rid of that aura. I think that's going to be a big part of, uh, really big part of this particular game. Already, Lost in Time has almost closed the percent cap in this second stock, but, uh, again, it's, that's kind of the nature of this character, is, like, the character is never truly a disadvantage because of aura. I, I will comment, uh, specifically Lost, I'm sorry, Lucario's, uh, banana catches in this set have been really good. Uh, she has not really... She, she has not let Lost in Time get a hold of the banana unless Lost in Time specifically grabs it after he throws it, right? So uh, what that means is she's able to take away one of Diddy's best stage control tools uh, and use it for herself, which, again, banana can convert into a lot for Lucario. Uh, I know you can do banana force palm, uh, banana, like, down smash. I mean, you can do a banana to a lot of things. Um, right there, the, ooh, the spot dodge into the force palm. Not quite going to take it, though. This is scary for sense for both of them. Uh, Lost in Time has done an amazing job climbing this all the way back. Uh, he's not really out of the range of being able to get a kill confirmed should he get a good banana setup. Right now, I mean, again, uh, he could take it with down tilt up smash. Down tilt, really, any smash attack. Or this! Just banana to up smash, and that is absolutely going to take the game. Good job, Lost in Time. I, I really felt like he was uh, falling behind for some of that game, but he did an amazing job picking it back up. Would be interested to see if Ludcario would opt to go Rosalina and Luma, as we saw her do in her pools match against, I believe it was Plot. Uh, I would absolutely say it's a much better matchup, but we are possibly seeing lo Lost in Time Switch? Interesting. To Bowser, okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's that's definitely the move. I'm not sure if this is like a power play about counter picks. Um, Bowser being a solid grappler uh, does a fantastic job against Lucario. But I've never seen Lost in Time's Bowser, so I can't really attest to it being anything more than the random pocket character that knows how to up throw up air. Uh, Lucario picking the Rosalina is a solid counter pick, though I question the validity of that counter pick. Um, so I, I imagine what Lost was going for here, right? Was he was he's probably knowing that Lude might switch and switching to a character to force her to do so. Um, hoping that he could then get the character counter pick advantage on that next set should he lose this but I don't think going and putting himself in a position where 
his switch option is Diddy Rosa. That see that that just wasn't too smart in my opinion. Um, but you know what? Lawson Time's playing pretty solid today, so I'm not gonna sit here and tell him what he's doing wrong. Actually, I am. That's my son. Son, let me tell you what you're doing wrong. Why the hell are you playing Bowser? I ain't never seen this Bowser, and you know damn well your counter pick is Diddy. When you go back and watch this, I, I expect a full book report coming back as to why you went Bowser. Two pages, minimum. 500 words. Though, all that shit talk aside and what I'm saying, uh, he actually is doing pretty solid. I, I don't think that if uh, he's too far out of the range of getting that up throw up there. Should he be able to get his hands on Lucario and more importantly be able to get rid of that Luma? Um, but now that Rage is no longer a factor in this stock, it might be a little bit harder for him to close out that stock. And uh, Lucario honestly not struggling to put on damage and not get hit, more importantly. Ooh, no Luma on deck though. Up throw, up air, missing it. Able to get the air dodge. Man, Lit going. Uh, Man, look. Blue was going kind of deep for that one. Mm. Damage after damage after damage. Lucario is just about to even lap this next stock. Um, and Rage Rosaluma is nothing to mess with here. <laughs> Honestly, I, I feel like if she were... Uh, ooh! I was about to say, if she were be able to get a downer offstage, but she almost got the F-Smash with Luma offstage like that. That's a uh, that's smart. Getting the F-Smash, though, and that's certainly going to take it in a convincing two-stock coming in from Lucario. Um, definitely like her use of that Rosalina and Luma better than Lucario. I think that was definitely a good switch on her part. But again, as I was making mention of before, I, I, I wonder... Uh, I really do wonder what Lost in Time is going to do now with this next character counter pick. It's not really in his favor going one of his mains, but going Bowser. Or, I'm sorry, Wario. Interesting. Okay. Now, I know uh, I know Lost in Time plays a lot with Spiffy. I don't know if he's just going to pick up this Wario by osmosis alone. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, what, what, what's your new tag now? Black Furtado? Yeah, I am Furtado. Furtado. Isn't that like a drink or something? I thought it was a Mexican dish. It don't matter to me. I mean, that's just my guess. I thought it was a Mexican dish. I don't know. Otherwise, I'll have to change it again. What was it? <laughs> what do you... <laughs> Wait, hold on. So if it's not a Mexican dish, what, what's, what's your backup? Black chalupa or what? Like. <laughs> well, I was thinking more of an enchilada. Black enchilada. Okay. Tasty. Uh, now, oh, you know what, actually? Mm -hmm. I, I take back what I was saying about uh, this Wario. I did kind of forget that, uh, for those that don't know, Lucario is such a polarizing character. Uh, polarizing is the wrong word. He's a very inconsistent character. Because all of his matchups are, uh, they're just really weird because of the R mechanic, right? Wario is one of the few characters that doesn't really have to fight. Um, he's one of the few characters that doesn't really have to fight Wario or Lucario, and... Because of that, he can just kind of run away and do whatever he wants. Yeah, he just doesn't... He basically doesn't have to play Lucario's game. Um, if I remember correctly, I thought Lost in Time said that he did have a Wario, which is sort of making things interesting. He's bringing it back out because I've seen almost entirely his Diddy. I saw him playing Bowser earlier, which was interesting, but I guess it didn't work out too much versus Rosalina. But, uh... I'm a little curious. What did you think of Lucario, especially since she kind of came here? I'm not Texas, sure from Texas. Before. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, she's uh, she's very solid. She actually she took ZD to game three in pools, so I mean that's 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 enough in my opinion. How do you feel about her Lucario tag? I like it. Uh, I think I mean all right. The fact that she's going even with a Wario right now, I already like a Lucario. Oh wait, are you talking about her tag specifically? No, no, no. Her playstyle. Um, it's interesting. She definitely, how do I put it? Um, she's kind of aggressive, but I like that. Oh shoot! What happened there? Uh, I don't know. I, I honestly like Lost in Time doesn't play this character a ton, so I'm not. I'm not I gonna. I thought he had a warrior, but I could be mistaken. I don't. I don't know. 
I've, I've never seen it before. I mean, Either maybe that, there's a reason I ain't seen it before. It's not doing too hot right now. It's losing one of its best matchups. I, I guess he got inspired by Matador. Mm, it, that it's or... probably Spiffy. He plays with Spiffy a lot. Oh, true. And you know what I always say when Spiffy's here? Spiffy got a Stiffy. Oh. oh. Is that is that actually is it is it appropriate to reference Six Nine now that he's arrested? I mean, I'm not opposed. To it. All right, then Spiffy's got a Stiffy. Ah. Uh, that's exactly how I feel. But it feels like he sort of has a grasp on the matchup now. Either that or uh, Lucario is just... Never mind. Lucario is going to be uh, roadkill now. But, like, Wario doesn't have to play this matchup. And I think that's actually, like, that's a key thing that he's not, like, honing in on. Like, Wario can just run away the whole time, charge off and, like, never have to, like, bother with Aura. Like, he, he's... He's not understanding that he does not have to play this matchup. You know what I mean? True. Like, he gets he gets that privilege. He's just not They both have it. that win button. Actually, is, he has his own deck now. If he gets a good read, he can just swap his way to victory. Um... And I feel like that's what it's going to come down to. Lucario looks like she's aware of that and trying to play it safe. He's trying to wait out and... Uh, Wait, did he use it? Shit. Oh, well. It don't it matter if he used matter. it. That's going to be 2 1 Ludcario favor. And uh, we are going to see Reversal and McFly up next. So a little Mac.